welcome to this Monday edition of Elevate Update. I'm Brittany Nicole, and what I'm about to show you has a little bit of a disclaimer. It is viewer discretion advised because it's pretty gruesome. All right, John, thank you for being here today. I've been obligated by Elevate's uh, upper management to uh, have a little workout with y'all. So I don't want to see any rolls. I don't want to see the flipping stuff. I don't want to see the mat wrestling. I'm going to show you some fundamentals of wrestling that I've learned over the years, which is ring psychology, using a ring to your advantage. Okay. Give me a ball matches with uh, flippy flippy stuff. Hey boss, you need to get down there pretty soon, man. That idiot Minotaur is in the ring teaching a class right now. <laughs> yeah, you believe it? All right, man. All right. Get in. Well, that was fun. You suck. Ah! 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 Like I said, pretty brutal stuff. And Benjamin Wood being the major shareholder of Elevate Pro, I don't know the repercussions that are going to come from this. However, I do know that we will keep you updated on the Monster Minotaur's health as we receive the information. But moving on to a lighter, more happier note, we have crowned a new Elevate Pro women's champion. Amber Rodriguez, the Reina Renegada, won the belt at SOAR Championship Wrestling in Dallas, Texas a few weekends ago. Check it out. I've got an idea. Why wrestle for one belt when you can wrestle for two? Okay. You see, I own a little promotion called the Elevate Pro in New Orleans, Louisiana. We're vacant of a women's champion. So, why don't we bring that beautiful belt out here right now? Oh, beautiful. So good. That's mine, sweetie. No, look at that. Look at that. Okay, this is the Elevate Women's Championship belt. This is your Elevate Pro Women's Championship. And it's pretty. Rodriguez, going to turn it around. One, two. What? Look, what is going on? She's she just the out the one, two, three. She's pointing out to the referee that she's not she's not doing the right thing. 
that, the, that's exactly what she's doing, but she has no business up there. Cost her the belts, both of them. And remember, the owner of Elevate. And there comes Rodriguez getting there in a full Nelson. He's letting the ref have it, too. Here comes Vixen. Oh! oh! Takes out the referee. Wow. Kendall Gibson knocked out. Got a over here, the pod father. I don't want to, you know. Yeah, is that what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Look at chicken wing oh. set up, lay down, and kick oh. right to the gut. Set it up. Oh, what a DDT. No ref off the ropes, holding it up. Oh, look at Brittany Nicole getting involved in this match. Now going to the other side to try to wake up the referee. You know, that's Kendall good, Gibson trying to come you know to what, her sentence here. You know what? That's a good ref. Uh, that's, that's a good manager look right look there. At, it's not going to end like this is crazy. There's one, two, no. Yes. As the Elevate Pro Wrestling Women's Champion, as both of the belts were on line here tonight at Facing the Bullet at the Dallas Elks Lodge in Dallas, Texas. There you go, two belts, one champion. Now I know what you're gonna say. I was there, I saw what happened, and I know that I may have helped a little bit. However, Amber Rodriguez did win that title, and I feel like she is a worthy champion for Elevate Pro Wrestling. And I hope that she can prove it again in Louisiana whenever she faces her next opponent. But until then, that's all the updates I have for now. So for Elevate Pro, it's Brittany Nicole signing off. We'll see you soon.